so much. Hey there guys, this is Tyler, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be counting down the top 10 best skins to come out of FNAF AR Special Delivery in 2020. Now for the most part, the skins in the game are usually really good and have a nice design while some others wump. But today, I'll be looking at what I think are the 10 best. Keep in mind, this is my personal opinion and it's okay to think differently. Also, Frostbear and 8-Bit Baby do not count since they're actually characters, not skins. As well, Frostbear came out in 2019 so he wouldn't count either way. Before we begin, if you enjoy my content and enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell if I make any more FNAF AR related content. It wouldn't mean a lot, but it's totally optional. Now without further ado, let's get straight onto the list. Number 10, Shamrock Freddy. The first ever skin in the game, and it's the 10th best of the year in my opinion. Honestly, I used to really dislike this skin, but now, I like him. He looks pretty good. Now, it could be argued that he's just a green recolor of Freddy, but in my opinion, it's the same case with the Jackos. They have something unique to them that make them stand out from who they're supposed to be a recolor of. For Shamrock, it's the whole leprechaun aesthetic he's got with his green body, dark green hat, and golden necklace and microphone. As well, he's one of the only skins in the game who gets changed to the difficulty department. Yeah, he's actually harder than normal Freddy, and I wished more skins did this so it'd be more interesting. As it stands though, the only reason Shamrock Freddy's at number 10 is because personally, I think the others have better designs and have more to talk about, but I still like Shamrock. On to number 9. Number 9, Katrina Toy Chica. If I had one word to describe this skin, it would be unique. Basically, this is a Day of the Dead skin, which if you didn't know, Day of the Dead is a holiday in Mexico where families pray to their loved ones they've lost, and this skin, in my opinion, accurately captures the holiday really well without getting offensive. And just in general, the skin looks good. Also, I should probably address that this came out in October as the third thing for the month after the Jackos, and boy were people disappointed. And this was due to the fact they were expecting a character. Now, I was in the group of people when this happened, but now? Nah. I really like this skin, and in my opinion, it's an absolutely great representation of Day of the Dead. Number 8, Black Ice Frostbear. Oh yes, this skin's really cool. This is the first, and at the time this is being written, only skin Frostbear has, and just wow. What I love about this skin is his design, and the spikes around his body, and the extra ice added. As well, I love his ice staff. I think that's what I like the most about this skin. All of these make him look threatening, and that's a job well done in my book. Also, a clever detail I noticed was his hat was cracked ice too, which is nice, and he has neat eyes. I really have nothing else to say to be honest, this skin is just cool and icy and chilly and freezing and crispy- okay, sorry for wasting your time. Number 7, High Score Toy Chica. So this was the second Arcade Mayhem skin, and I gotta say, it's really cool looking. I love how there are two versions of the skin. It gives the skin in general a good design, and I love all of the 8-bit pixels on her. As well, when you win against her, her bib says game over. I like that. That's cool. What I love the most about this skin is that Carl is also 8-bit. Just in general, a lot of care and effort was put into this skin, and it's definitely a favorite of mine. Nothing else really to say about this one. Number 6, Flamethrower Bear Endo. So this was the first skin to come out of the Sizzling Summer event, and it's an Endo skin? Sign me up. In all seriousness though, for an endo skin, I love it. It's got something unique to it. I don't know if it's the flamethrower, but it probably is. I just find that cool about him. As well, his design looks great. This skin makes me like endo one a bit more and can make room for future endo skins. The only thing though is I wish he was a little bit more difficult like Shamrock Freddy is than Freddy since endo one is pretty much the easiest character in the game and it would be pretty neat in general. Otherwise, I love this skin and also, it's literally a minion, how could you not tell? Number 5, Flaming Springtrap. Flamethrower Endo was the first Sizzling Summer skin, and Flaming Springtrap was the last, and I gotta say, the wait for the last skin of this event was worth it in a way. I know the addition of Ballora was the hyped up thing for the event, but hey, this is a cool skin too. I love all of the flames and burnt feels to this monster, and it makes Springtrap look even cooler. Also, apparently, this was Springtrap during the FNAF 3 fire, which if it was, this is exactly how I pictured him to look. This is obviously my favorite of the Springtrap skins so far, and I cannot wait for more Springtrap skins. Clown Springtrap and Toxic Springtrap were also pretty good too, so yeah, next one. 
Number 4, Frostbite BB. I love this skin. This is by far my favorite skin from the Winter Wonderland event, and the fact it's a skin for BB, a FNAF character I dislike, that speaks a lot. I think what this skin succeeds at doing is just being creepy in general. Like, look at his f***ing face. The teeth, the eyes, just... Brrr. Also, the icicles around his body are a nice addition, and another thing I like about him is that on his sign it says Avalanche. So cool. This guy's tiny too, which is something I like about him. Kinda cute. Okay, never mind. Creepy. Fucking creepy. In all seriousness though, I adore this skin. It gives me the chills. <laughs> Let's move on. Number 3, Chocolate Bonnie. Another great skin. This was the second ever FNAF AR skin, and let's just say, this is Creativity the skin. He looks like chocolate candy from Easter, and it's just so well done. What I love the most about this skin are the bites taken out from his ear and body. This skin was well thought out and an overall great addition to the game. Even though I don't like chocolate, yeah I know, I'm going to eat some in honor of this skin. Why did we have to eat too much chocolate, man? This was just for a dumb list video. He's alive! Amazing skin, on to number two. <sighs> number two, System Air Toy Bonnie. So this skin, I love it. I love how it says System Air on his chest. The design is spectacular. I love the glitchy effects, the glowing eyes, just all of it's great. Now he kinda does look off during the gameplay, but it isn't too bad. Also, I'm glad red was the chosen color because that's the best color for representing a System Air. So good on you, Alumix. I don't really have anything else to say. So before we move on to number one, here's how I would rank the other skins this year. Think of this as the typical honorable mentions. Number 1, VR Toy Freddy. Who didn't see this coming? Well, I just adore this skin. I love how it's based around a VR system Toy Freddy's using, I love his colors and design, I like how his alternate version looks, and etc. But what I love the most about him is the fact that this is really fitting for Toy Freddy. As established in UCN, Toy Freddy's kind of a gamer, and the fact his skin here centers around a VR headset is just so appropriate. This is, in my opinion, the best Arcade Mayhem skin, but also, most importantly, the number one best FNAF AR skin to come out of 2020. Well, that was, in my opinion, the top 10 best skins to come out of FNAF AR in 2020. What did you guys think? Do you agree with my list or do you disagree? What would your list be? Let's have a conversation or two in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the description below, it contains the download link to FNAF AR if you want to check these skins out for yourself, my Discord server, Twitter, Instagram, Tyler Extras, the server address to my Minecraft Java Edition server, my FNAF AR username and friend code, and my Fall Guys number. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, everybody.